Now, the frontrunner to replace scheming Sturgeon as Scotland's First Minister, Kate Forbes, has already been written off by Westminster and the MSM after she expressed these views about same-sex marriage. Marriage being between a man and a woman, that is what I practice. But I will not roll back on any rights that already exist in Scotland. If you were about at the time where you were able to legislate on this, that's been and gone now, but you would have voted against that then because of your beliefs. I would have. The devout Christian also said it was wrong to have children outside of wedlock, but made a clear point of saying that this was only her opinion and not one that she would force on anyone else. Still, her honesty has drawn derision from prominent SNP colleagues claiming she has crossed a red line. However, overnight, the Equalities Minister, Kemi Badenoch, weighed in to support Forbes and her right to practice her religion freely. Look. I actually admire her for not being dishonest. It'd be very easy for her to tell lies just so that she could win that election. I will say that I support, I personally support same-sex marriage. I think it's disappointing if people don't. I think always it's disappointing when people don't agree with me. But I would not want people to condemn me for having personal views. But despite those comments, the entire political establishment in MSM is looking to tear down Forbes' candidacy because she dared to express socially conservative religious views. Uh, so what do you think about this? Should your faith exclude you from political office? In 2023, email me down at gbnews.uk. Tweet me at gbnews. We've got the perfect pair to debate this night and help you make up uh, your mind. I'm joined by the Reverend Calvin Robinson and the activist and journalist Peter Tatchell. So Calvin Robinson, I have to say, we missed you on the show last night because... This topic is made for you. I imagine, even though you're certainly a unionist, uh, you're probably loving the fact that, that Kate Forbes is saying the unsayable when it comes to her religious views. Yeah, she said the quiet part out loud, didn't she? That's her problem. I'm absolutely amazed at the response to, to Kate. I, I thought being a Christian in a Christian country might have been considered quite a normal thing, or it was until the last five minutes at least. The attacks, the staunch attacks we've seen from the left and the right. You know, people on our own channel have been, have been calling her controversial, and her views controversial, and her church controversial. I'm like, wait a minute, in what way is it controversial to have Christian views? I wish we had more parliamentarians that had faith. Look at the adulterers, look at the, the liars, look at all the people we have running our country. It'd be nice to have some people with moral values for once, wouldn't it? Well, the thing that I found fascinating, Calvin, is that from the moment she made those comments the Westminster establishment just said, well, she can't win. This is impossible. It's impossible for her to win. Actually, that's not up to them. It's up to the members of the SNP who are going to vote. And I find it astonishing that they think that they can preclude someone and not respect democracy because she's not saying anything illegal, is she? Well, indeed, we have a, a Muslim mayor of London, we have a Hindu prime minister, they're OK, but to have a Christian first minister, whoa, that's a step too far. Interesting, isn't it? It's the rise of Christophobia that we have in this country, that Christianity is considered out of date, old fashioned and beyond the pale. And I think actually we need to be more, a lot more tolerant to people with religious values, especially Christians at this time. But Peter Tatchell, from your point of view, uh, what she has said about gay marriage uh, crosses a line for someone who wants a public role? Well, for me, it's very clear that Kate Fur Forbes and all Christians have a right to hold their views mm -hmm. and they have a right to stand for public office. Yes. Uh, they should be judged on the remit of all their policies, not just one policy. Mm -hmm. But very clearly, um, Kate has said she's against same-sex marriage, abortion, uh, sex outside of marriage, and gender recognition reform. So she's basically the bad news for women, uh, single parents, and lesbian, gay, and bisexual people. That is not a good look. And as a leader, as a leader, as a first minister, as the leader of Scotland, she'd be sending a very bad message to the country. She'd be out of step with the country's own laws and own values. I'm actually oh, so the, me the, the Christian Sorry, Calvin, you come back. I just, I just think it's strange for Peter to sit there and say, just be out of step with the
the country's values when the country still has Christian values. And to conflate those things, I hate when people say that. It's like, oh, she's against women, she's against gays. She's against... No, 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 don't conflate points like that. That's disingenuous, Peter. She's very much in favour of women. This is why she's against all of these trans issues at the moment, because she wants to protect women's rights, women's spaces. She's very much in favour of family, which is why she wants to protect the institution of marriage, which is between one man and one woman, and not to dilute it or water it down. That doesn't mean she's against alternative lifestyles and other things with other names, but she's trying to protect the values and the standards that we've had for over a thousand years in this country. Mm. Peter, don't you think there is a a degree of hypocrisy here? Because her main rival for the job is Humza Youssef. Now, he is a practising Muslim. And while he says that his Muslim religion doesn't impact his political positions, surely you know the religion is far, far worse when it comes to the human rights of women and gay people, yet no one is attacking Yousaf for his moral views. And I think no one is prepared to attack any Muslim politician uh, for their socially conservative views. So why is it acceptable to attack a Christian for the same thing? Well, it wouldn't be, but uh, very clearly Hamza Yousaf does not support discrimination in any sense. Well, he abstained from the gay marriage vote. Well, he may have abstained, but he did not vote against. Um, And he has, on other issues... Um, been very clear that he supports the principle of equality and human rights for everyone, which is very different from the position of Kate Phillips. Well, no, I I, I think the difference is, Calvin, I I think the difference here is clear. The difference is is that Kate Phillips has been honest with the electorate. What Humza Yousaf is doing is he's doing a Keir Starmer, which is that he's lying to get elected. Because I don't think you cannot he's tell me that as a well, come on, as a practicing Muslim, you cannot tell me uh, that he is more pro-gay marriage than Kate Forbes. Well, I don't believe it. Well, if you look at the opinion polls, look at the service of Muslims in the in the UK Parliament. Um, I think all but one Muslim member of Parliament voted for same-sex marriage. I think it was seven out of eight. Mm-hmm. So clearly, well, had an opportunity clearly, to vote for gay clearly marriage. Muslim MPs have been very supportive of the LGBT yeah. bus community but, but and also of women and women's rights as well. Okay. Well, OK, I'm going to, uh, that's a whole other topic. But, but, Calvin, you must see this. You must see that the MSM are so quick to attack Christian politicians for their views. Whether the views are right or wrong is another question. But they would not dare, they would not dare to attack a Muslim politician for views that are more socially conservative. Of course they would. And they'd be right not to. Either do it for everyone or do it for no one. I don't think Muslims should be attacked for having conservative views any more than I think Christians should be. I'm not saying they should be either, but but the attack on Kate Forbes is... It's huge. It's It's over the the top. Well, that's because she is standing for very high office, the First Minister of Scotland. No, no, no. And there there have been Muslim MPs who have voted badly on some issues. And they have been called Peter, out. We've already, ad- we've already addressed that we have a Muslim running the, the city of London and we have a Hindu running the country. It's not about her status of running for high office. It's about her faith being Christian and that being an e- Christianity being an easy target. You've yeah. just said in your last sentence that it, she's against equal- equality and human rights. It's an absolute nonsense to paint the Christian faith yeah. as anti-egalitarian well, and anti-human I have to rights. say, I'm with, Kemi ba- I'm with Kemi Badenoch on this. Uh, you know, I don't agree with... Kate Forbes's position, but I absolutely respect her honesty and I respect the fact that she has been very clear with the Scottish people about where she stands personally. And I it think would be nice the to honest politicians. Indeed. And I think the MSM writing her off, I think they're making a big mistake. Because people might think that the SNP are full of full of all of these extreme wokists who loved Nicola Sturgeon's ridiculous gender reform bill. But, but it's actually not. It's a broad church full of a lot of social conservatives. And I think the MSM, just like with Brexit and just like with the Red Bull, they could end up having egg on their face over this one. But look, a fascinating I, debate. I don't think it's it. just the mainstream media. I think many people in the Scottish Party, yes. the Scottish National Party, have no, themselves indeed. said, we indeed. can't have a first but minister stupid. who doesn't support but, equality. But that's stupid because they knew her position. So they should have thought about that before they supported her. But look, fascinating debate. Human rights campaigner Peter Tatchell, always great to have you on. Calvin Robinson, thank you. Miss you, Dad. Miss you, Dawn. <laughs>
So do you agree with on this? Should your faith exclude you from political office? Elliot on Twitter says, of course not. There is a massive difference between I do not believe these things are right for me and I intend to inflict my beliefs on everyone else. From Beadle, yes, if your religion informs your decisions, it means your first loyalty is to your faith and not the people you serve. And from Maggie, Kate Forbes has been interrogated for her Christian views. I don't recall our PM, a Buddhist or Sadiq Khan, a Muslim being challenged as to how their faith conflicts with policy decisions. I have to say the hypocrisy for me has been utterly infuriating. But your verdict is now in. Just 10% of you say your faith should exclude you from public office. 90% of you saying it should not. Coming up, 